Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's build, I will be showing you another best strand hunter build that you can use for endgame that does not require much work or prep to it. Suspend abilities have been super powerful in first release, and although they have been nerfed as of now, they do still play effectively well. With this being the case, I'd like to present you a build that grants 4 suspend abilities effect that you can use to stop the most toughest enemies around, and all of this will be done via our aspects and the Sith Coyote Exotic. Using this will grant you a relatively safe and fast freedom to use and abuse your suspend abilities as long as you like, while also granting you the ability to use whatever weapons you like and also expand on your abilities more if you desire. Let's go over why the Hunters are the best class to pick for strand users alike. Starting with aspects, you're going to want to have Ensnaring Slam, where activating your air move will allow you to dive to the floor and activate a suspend effect on impact. Then we have Widow Silk, where you gain an additional grenade charge and Grapple Hook creates a grapple point. A pretty self-explanatory setup that will grant the users the four suspend effects once we add our exotic into the mix. For Fragments, we have the Thread of Wisdom, where killing a suspended target creates an orb of power. Thread of Continuity, where suspend, unravel and sever effects are increased. A Thread of Mind, where defeating a suspended target grants class ability. And Thread of Generation, where dealing damage generates grenade energy. It is heavily required that you follow the given fragments as we want to have the max ability regen outcome as possible. Thread of Wisdom, Continuity and Mind all play within each other's sectors, and this alone allows us some level of freedom when investing in mods and focusing on stat distribution. Generation is of course always recommended because of how strong it is, but this alone will play a part in how often we can get our class ability back without the need of investing into our class ability stat overall. Within the mods and stat section, it's going to be mainly our discipline stat that will be the main focus here. This is because the build requires the player to upkeep their uses of using grenades as much as possible. But also, at the same time, using your class ability can be regenerated through other means. It's recommended you have a tier 7 stat for mobility, as this will give you a 33 second cooldown for class ability, which, once our fragments do kick in, will support the build for its entirety. It's also important since we will have 2 dodges instead of 1 via the 6 coyote, so all the support being provided will ensure this build lasts long. The discipline should be at tier 10 and will be using the grenade kickstart to further support the energy regen rate. At this stage, our cooldown rate will be 1 minute 16 seconds because the shackle grenade's high charge time. However, please do be aware we will be actively reducing this ability as we do play along via the thread of generation alone. With kickstart providing us a 31% regen rate on 4 armor charges, absolution giving us a 5% ability energy, and distribution giving us a 3.5% ability energy, the following setup will come out a lot faster than you may think. We do also have the bolstering detonation and momentum transfer to support your mobility and strength stat via our grenade usage, so overall our grenade will be consistently providing the needed support that we so much require. You can of course add the font of focus to the mix, but only if you decide to play a bit more slower than normal. The next section now will be focusing on the armor charges and additional mods that are recommended for the build. Charged up will give you a plus one to how many charge stacks you can have, although having two is also a viable case. After that, having the Connect Cypher mod will allow you to gather orbs of power much more faster while playing. Next, enhancing your kinetic weapons with a times one surge mod for a 7% weapon damage buff and time dilation mod for a longer armor charge is always welcoming for the user to attach. And then lastly, this is a very optional choice, Ammo Finder, Reserves and Scavenger mods for increasing the payload of a heavy strand weapon, which is of course optional. For weaponry, we are using the Necrochasm AR, and this is for the purpose of making use of this curse bringer sort of effect on suspended targets. Although a strand weapon would be more suitable for the synergy involved, and generally any AoE based weapons are fine here. The Necrochasm is a new weapon that does perform really well when used against a large group. Its general big magazine size does allow players to fire continuously onto the more tougher targets with little effort, and this also will trigger its exotic effect will spread like wildfire, inflicting heavy damage in a short time frame. Using this with Suspend allows us to dial in the damage to take out the tougher targets without the need of using our heavy to do so. 
Having multiple minor enemies, mages and one champion will pretty much allow the weapon to perform chaotically as of its nature and design. From here, you have two weapons to consider for the build. You can either use the Korax Distress Grenade Launcher with Envious Assassin and Hatchling, which will mainly be used for taking out suspended targets and dealing quick and lethal damage. On the other hand, using the semi and Rocket Launcher with Explosive Light and Fill Prep will allow you to deal with heavier damage against mini bosses to bosses as you see fit. Both are explosive and both play a big part with taking out large quantities of enemies there and then. The general theme I've noticed with Strand Hunter builds is that they are one of the most common builds that many players tend to go to and use the most. The following has proven time after time that Hunters are generally the best when it comes down to wide scale stunning opportunities. The Strand Suspend have been a nice introduction to the game that fills in what most stasis abilities can't do well for most classes. And although Suspend did get its duration reduced, it's still a top contender for a number of content. The following leans heavily into having not one, two, or three suspend effects, but rather four in total. All four having fast regen pathways we can focus on. Our base grenades will allow us to suspend from safe distance, and overall allow us a better control when facing the more aggressive targets. While my class ability is more for catching targets off guard, or simply re their targets such as a champion. This is a fun endgame build to use as it can allow you to deal with the more egregious nightfalls that can cause many problems. For example, the boss room in Lightblade Nightfall is both fun and very annoying to play in since you can't slow down too much nor can you afford to not pay attention to the spawning enemies. When champions do spawn, that's where the true limit breaker starts with teams as you either do completely fine or get absolutely decimated in their counter. With this build however, you can easily make doing this encounter a lot more safer and easier to control with thanks to your suspend effects. Since your abilities also regen quite fast thanks to mods and fragments being used, you won't need to wait around before engaging again, so you have freedom to tackle as many times as you like. On top of that, using your suspend grenades or even your class ability on bosses will also flinch them for a brief moment, which is useful as a defensive route. This example will ring true with a wide number of nightfalls you may struggle on, such as the nightfall battlegrounds, or even master raids, or master dungeons, etc. The build offers a nice and very simple way to control the field how you like, and does not require any hoops to jump through just to achieve these goals. If you want to clear nightfalls as fast as possible with the best strand endgame build to date, then this is what you want to achieve for just that alone. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content or want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you would desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.